Hello guys and welcome to the very first video of my gaming tutorial series and today I will be talking about how to uh, install Arc the easiest way so the Arc uh, dedicated server and I have this running 24-7 uh, on my um, Windows server and it's the best application you can get to install and manage your Arc server. And uh, this application is called Arc Server Manager, so you can open it with the link I will put in the description. And you should get to uh, get to this page if it loads correctly. Okay, so yeah, this is the, the forum index. You might get like an ad block warning. I had that previously, exactly. And I'll just skip that because I prefer using ad block no matter what. Um, even though I would like to support them. So what you want to do is go to Windows Installer and get click on the latest XA. It will open that. I'll just quickly download it onto my desktop. And here's the setup. It should open up. You will just run it. It will ask for admin rights. Just click yes. And then it will ask you where to install it. I'm just quickly going to select a different drive because I don't have uh, that much space on that SSD. And we'll select create desktop shortcut and install. And this works exactly the same way for a Windows server. So if you want to run this on a Windows server um, OS, you can just do it this exactly the same way as just installing it on Windows. So yeah, we're just going to launch it already. Um, yes, we would like to run it with administration privileges. Yes, we have not set the Steam CMD um, path yet. We will still need to do that. Actually, you can leave it like this and it will save your profiles and Steam CMD in there. So you don't actually need to make a folder like I did. Sorry about that. So yes, you'll click yes here and it will start um, downloading the update for the software. So it has the newest version that will just let it, just let it do that. Doesn't really matter that much. And now we'll actually start downloading an instance of Arc, I believe. Because it's currently logged into uh, the Steam. Oh no, it was just downloading some... I think it downloaded uh, the Steam uh, GUI. Okay, so pretty much the first time you open this, it should look something like this. And uh, it's fairly normal, fairly, fairly simple to set up. And I will also have... Um, uh, extensive uh, more guides this will be uh, like a free part guide um, in which I will actually show you how to connect your arc server with discord and to great extent so like to bring pretty much be able to um, get notifications when the server restarts when there's an update when there's stuff going on and there's also um, going to be a tutorial on how to connect your Arc server with Discord so that people on Discord can chat with the people on the Arc server and the other way around. It's actually a really cool feature we have on our server um, at Arctic Elements. And um, I'm just quickly going to open, uh, no, create a new server profile that will open and you'll need to name your server profile, whatever you want. Um, I'm just going to call it test YouTube YouTube server. Okay, and what you'll need to do next is actually deploy the server. I'm just quickly going to save this. It's more, usually when you have like detailed settings, it will save it to your profile. And um, just make sure each time that you actually apply settings, you do this because it actually helps um, Yeah, saving the stuff you actually changed. Okay, so yeah. Um, We'll just go on to install and it will start downloading with uh, Steam CMD uh, all of the stuff we need. So pretty much there's nothing we actually need to do with console. So that's actually why it's the kind of the easiest way of installing Arc uh, on, a, on a server or on a PC because you don't really need to um, do a lot. It, it just makes your life so much easier. There's also functions for mods and stuff, so you can pretty much make it download the mods for you, so you don't actually need to transfer them to wherever path you need them. You just you can just tell them that it's this ID and it will download it for you. Okay, so once you're done, um, this is how it should look like. You might get a message, it will ask you 
to make a donation. But if you don't want to do that, then just click now. And this is how it will pretty much look like once it's done. I will say finish upgrade process. And then you can just pretty much go into all of the settings that you've got here. Uh, you've got automatic management. And um, you can set it up to boot when your PC is on, when to shut it down. Um, you can include the server in auto backup cycle and auto update cycles. And you can also restart the server if it's shut down. Then there's also rules that you can uh, set up. Obviously, there's also the, the chat notification stuff. Um, you can have HUD visual settings, player settings, so pretty much XP multipliers. Dino settings, again, XP multipliers here. There's a pretty uh, great list on th of things you can actually change here. You can change environment settings, structure settings, decay settings, ingrams. But yeah, I'm just going to go back because this is a bit, it's quite a lot. Um, but you can also add administrators and whitelisted players here. Which you can just um, plus here and you need to get the Steam ID. Um, and so on and so forth. So you can pretty much close this back up. Um, I'm just really going to do that. I just wanted to show you guys how this kind of works. So yeah, um, we can just pretty much close them up. And we're going to stay right here where this is. I'm just going to call it test YouTube server. And then you can set up your ports. You can also set up the query port. Um, let Arc choose, that's why I usually do it, just ask you which Ethernet adapter or wireless adapter it should use. Uh, personally, I would only use uh, Ethernet adapters because that makes the most sense. You can change the map to whatever you want, so there's a variation, the center, so you actually don't need to download any map files, it will just do it for you. Now, um, you can uh, add primitive plus and here's the mod stuff. So pretty much what you can do is you can uh, get the mod by going to Steam and um, when Steam is open you can just go to Arc and um, go to the workshop. Okay so you're once, once you're here in the, in the workshop you can just go and select one of these mods. Uh, so I'm just going to go for water blocks because this is just right here. Um, if it will load, okay. Just add some icons, features. Okay, and pretty much what you'll need to get is the mod ID, and you can either get that by getting the shareable link um, of this, which is uh, this button, the sharing button, or uh, it usually says it with the mods at the bottom what the mod ID is. And once you've got the mod ID, all you have to do is just um, input. Uh, wait, just have to, one second, add mods to the list. Oh wait, I uh, quickly have to wait for it to actually load in all the workshop items. But I think you can even search it with that map extension. Wait, wait let's look. Water blocks, I'm just going to quickly try that. It's kind of, it will kind of take a long time because I have to imagine it pretty much goes through all the mods. So it will take quite a while to load. But as you can see, it actually found it. It didn't even have to put in the mod ID. It actually found it through its search engine and you can just click plus and it will add the mod. Now to actually download the mod, it says mod type, not download. And you can see who uh, the author is. Um, when it was last updated and so forth. So, um, you made some changes that have not been saved. Oh yeah, we still have to, do you want to continue? Now you actually want to save this. Yes, um, and it will save the mod down here. And you will need to download. It will also tell you which mods, like how many mods are outdated and you can just reload this to perform a mod check. And what you pretty much have to do is to click on this upgrade button and it will go through and download the mod for you through the Steam API.
Okay, so pretty much if it says uh, finished upgrade process, it should have downloaded the mod. And as you can see, it says outdated mod zero. And if we go on here, it should display the mod. It says map extension. And it says also when it was last downloaded, which was pretty much now. So yeah, that's how you pretty much set up your uh, Arc server. You can also set up a message of a day. You can change the admin password, which is first hidden, as you can see. Um, and it pretty much works by itself. You can uh, enable auto backup, auto updates, which um, I'll do in another tutorial. And you can just click start. You can select uh, even how many players you want to have. So there's a wide variety of um, things you can adjust. And you can just click start if you want to start the server. And it should just start dumping all of the stuff so you can start it. And it will take a while. I think in the next tutorial, what I'll be showing is probably Arc API, which is an ex extremely cool tool for um, adding features to your Arc server, like live editing of settings and stuff. So it, it's, pre it's pretty cool. You can add shops and uh, additional items. Um, so that will probably be the next thing I'll be um, featuring in uh, my tutorial CV series on uh, games, especially on Arc. So um, yeah, this is where I'll stop the video. And um, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll have a great time just as I do with this awesome software. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this how-to uh, video or tutorial. And uh, I guess uh, see you in the next one. Bye.